Hello, um, the dancing mass, holy masters by Gary Zucker was an old book. I remember we had moved to Toronto just then. Ja, uh, the <clears throat> spring, spring of 1994 from Phoenix, where I had spent two years more than six weeks. It was probably one of the worst winters, and we had the first winter. And from Phoenix, it was quite uh, uh, a change, to say the least. And um, <clears throat> Beg your pardon. I was uh, doing a C programming course and uh, auditing a very difficult mathematics course from the math department at spring semester. And in come spring, I was free. I had gotten a certificate from continuing engineering education. Uh, and um, I um, even answered the exam for the math course. First, it did not grade me and uh, refused to give me a letter of recommendation to my own department. But uh, anyways, I remember reading this and being fascinated by it. Such a beautiful book, so well written, physics. Not, I did not grasp all of it at that time. I hadn't had so much schooling. I just had an undergraduate degree in mathematics, sorry, in chemical engineering. And um, uh, I, Try to remember what I had read, and Wuli is physics in Chinese. So the dancing Wuli masters, the dancing physics masters, spoke all of this uh, through Gary Zukav's uh, writing. Anyway, uh, um, I, it's uh, they're all concepts you you've come up with, and if, even if I were to come up with really original research. It probably would be an unconscious um, imbibing of uh, fresh research in the past 28 years, well, um, less than 20, 27 years. So, um, but, but a lot of it is all the same. Einsteinian physics hasn't changed, and Newtonian physics hasn't changed, and no, there have been other uh, milestones achieved, but. Um, in physics, but uh, the basics still remain the same. Anyways, I was, we were driving up to a friend's house to get COVID test done. She's a doctor, and I saw the moon in the morning. This is completely antithesis to what I've studied. This goes to sort of show you research has advanced. I remember reading that uh, it's basic, very basic, probably sixth grade, fifth grade. Uh, that the Earth revolves around its axis and um, does uh, it faces the sun, and uh, that's how days are created. And in, at night time, and and the moon um, <clears throat> is hidden away uh, during the day because the Earth is revolving around its axis, and the moon is orbiting around the Earth. It's a satellite of the Earth, the moon. Uh, but I saw the moon. I swear to you. And it's a common phenomenon, says the internet. The internet is a spoiler of the most wonderful of things because it explains it all. But it's good because otherwise we'd be breaking our head forever. Uh, it, it, it said that uh, new moon uh, was full moon. Look it up, new moon, full moon. And um, um, sometimes the, the moon uh, stays on and uh, that sort of thing. So uh, I forget what the exact explanation is. I urge you to look it up. And uh, but it's all possible. It's not within the realm of uh, physics. So, uh, but um, um, this is an advancement. I'm sure Gary Zukav has not covered this. So it's new research. And uh, then Gary Zukav has said Newton's great insight was that. Uh, the same laws that govern falling apples govern the uh, law motion of planets. Uh, and uh, this seemed very prone to me uh, because uh, um, apples fall and planets don't fall. Uh, they keep going around the sun. So um, uh, this, of course, it was explained by Einstein. Uh, the curvature of mass and energy is gravity. And uh, uh, 
this was explained through his theory of special relativity, or was that E equals mc squared general relativity, I think. Explain this through general relativity. Um, e equals mc squared is a special relativity, theory of special relativity. And uh, so, uh, um, so um, the bending of light um, <clears throat> that, that positively comes from the sun um, because of the curvature of mass and energy uh, could um, um, uh, well, uh, it's all basic. If you read it up, you can look it up. But my point here is, because I came across the Feynman diagrams, which I've done in the past. All physics books have Feynman uh, diagrams, space, time, time on the y-axis, and I should say space on the x-axis and time on the y-axis. And it suddenly occurred to me that what if a, a, an object were to be traveling through space and time, passing through the origin, a beginning at the origin, and... Um, then it would would it follow the laws of straight line um, straight lines y equals mx time would be equal to the slope multiplied by the space it has traveled through space would of course be x y z uh, which means an x y z and then time would be on the opposite y axis uh, because x y z X would be here, Y would be there, Z would be here, and time would be here. It could be a Q. So a Feynman diagram, an object traveling through a Feynman diagram could be placed on a Q, and the sun being, I looked this up on the internet, uh, a 5609 kilometers on the x-axis. 11,759 on the y-axis, 8,040 kilometers on the z-axis, then which means if we are able to plot this, um, it's quite a cube, it's not uh, equidistant, but um, you get the picture, I mean, the, the cuboid uh, rectangle. Uh, none of them are equal, but uh, they're all different. Uh, each of the um, uh, sides would be different. They, so it would, but to understand it's a cube, if it's a cube like this structure, then what would the time be? It would predict from here, considering the time is on the opposite y-axis and all the sides of the cube, um, um, the center of it would, uh, wherever, however, it would traverse the path of the object, which is traveling from the Earth to the Sun, or from the Sun to the Earth, Sun to the Earth. Nothing goes from the Earth to the Sun, Sun to the Earth. Uh -huh. And then, uh, what else did I have, which is uh, different? Is uh, acceleration to, due to gravity, the, uh, the gravitational constant in... Um, um, Einstein's terms, um, if there is curvature of mass and energy, then for E equals mc square, um, where um, energy and mass are interchangeable for small particles traveling at you high speeds, Uh, the curvature would be uh, gravity is the curvature of mass and energy and uh, the velocity of light is Curvature of mass and energy. So that, that's a different concept. I think that's um, a mixing of general theory of relativity and special theory of relativity here. But if we were to apply 
curvature of mass and energy to be something squared, uh, it would be hmm. It's not applicable here. It's not applicable here because um, all these small particles um, are not governed by um, uh, gravity at all. Um, It's the um, atomic force that holds the electrons in place. Mm -hmm. Electrons orbit around the nucleus. It's the nuclear force, I think. That's the nuclear force. Electrons would collapse, otherwise. Hmm. It's not the gravitational force, so, so that it doesn't really apply there. Anyways, um, curious to see this. I have to write this down. What would time be? I'm sure there's something on the internet which will calculate the but a cube couldn't say. The cube is governed by only Three sides. Yeah, the area of a cube is L cube. L cube. Cuboid could not either. But it has four sides though. So time would be, or assuming that it's all one, 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 then if 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 the earth, if the earth were to be one kilometer, one kilometer, one kilometer from the sun, and take one minute for light to come from the. Be too much actually, three to ten power more eight uh, meters per second. Light travels a uh, meter per second. The area is ten one Q. One kilometer, which is thousand meter. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to come from the yes, it takes ten seconds. It was um, one kilometer cube, which is thousand meter cube. It is ten power nine meter cube. Actually, hundred seconds. Yeah, hundred seconds. Ongoing travel of light. Anyways, I think uh, you will have fun reading Gary Zipper's Dancing Moon Masters. It's an old book, I'm sure. A number of numbers are replaced with, but uh, it's all well expressed, and uh, you can. Um, Spend your winter um, evenings reading it. Thank you.